Whew, feels good to be back in front of a camera again. The final episode of season one. We did it, man. We turned a simple idea into something great. This week's episode has... Opening drive, w &L, Jacob's pick six. The to-do list and the final score. You ready, RJ? The final one. I'm ready. You ready? Let's go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in today. Uh, this is first and Vaughn. You know this show is bomb. Jacob's out here dabbing like he's Cam Newton. He's reporting on the NFL. He's the number one analyst. He's speaking facts and haters can't handle it. But the real animal is RJ. When he has the camera, you know it's a parte. He be filming and shooting, making these reels like a movie. Editing scenes, he's the greatest cameraman. You can't refute it. Oh, oh, this is first and Vaughn. Oh, oh. This is first and Vaughn, oh, oh. This is first and Vaughn, this is first and Vaughn, this is first and Vaughn, you know. The NFL offseason is here. I am Jacob Vaughn. Behind the camera is Jeremy Mayo. The special guest is our producer, RJ Thomas. I am ready to recap this past week in the NFL, kicking off with my currently trending stories from this past week. Atlanta Falcons offensive coordinator Kyle Shanahan has been named the new 49ers head coach. Breaking news, the Falcons have hired Alabama offensive coordinator to fill in that spot. And now, Tom Brady's Super Bowl jersey has went missing after the game. Tom said his jersey was stolen from his bag that was in his locker. He also said if it ends up on eBay, to let him know. He also added he is just excited to get a win and a fifth ring. Brady now has five rings. Kobe added in, five rings cannot be deflated. RJ, W and L is up next. Who doesn't want to take the W? Hoping to bounce back from the L. The W of the week goes to the New England Patriots. The game started off looking like this and ended up with a game-winning drive in overtime. Mr. Miller's guy, Julian Edelman, had a catch that we will never forget. I still have no clue how he came up with that one. Tom Brady held up the trophy at the end of the game after being down 28-3. He now has five Super Bowl wins and four Super Bowl MVPs. He now has five rings and a Brady bunch of his own. Taking the L of the week is, sorry to say it, Jerem, but the Atlanta Falcons. Julio Jones may have had some nice catches, yes, but league MVPs have been 0 and 8 since 2001 in the Super Bowl. Matt Ryan left the game with his head down, media and all that good stuff on social media has just been blowing him up and destroying the Falcons for blowing a 28-3 lead against the Patriots. Just like the Warriors did a 3-1 series that they blew back against the Cavs. But now, it's time for the pick six. Last week I kicked a field goal, now it's back to making an interception. Here are my top six stories of the week in the NFL. Cardinals veteran quarterback Carson Palmer has taken his kids out of school and moved out of Arizona. That is raising questions about his retirement. San Diego Mayor has contacted the league and said the city would adopt the Raiders if the Las Vegas move falls through. The San Diego Raiders. Hmm. The Bears plan to part ways with Jay Cutler and begin to target Patriots backup quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo, along with the rest of the NFL. The NFL Honors was on Saturday night and the awards go to Matt Ryan was named Offensive Player of the Year, Khalil Mack Defensive Player of the Year, Dak Prescott won Offensive Rookie of the Year, Joey Bosa took home Defensive Rookie of the Year, and Jordy Nelson, the Comeback Player of the Year. Jason Garrett was the Coach of the Year, and the League MVP, Matty Ice, Matt Ryan. The story was released by the media that the Patriots attempted a trade for Texan standout wide receiver, DeAndre Hopkins. Wow, could you imagine that? Bill Belichick is now the first head coach to win five Super Bowls. Over 200 different players have gone to the Super Bowl with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. A new segment. RJ, are you ready? Hopefully you are like me and are an Eagles fan. Or you could be like RJ and be a Redskins fan. RJ and I are here to give you the to-do list for the Redskins and the Eagles. All the needs and wants. The Redskins need to pick up an inside linebacker, a safety, or even a defensive lineman in the free agency or the draft. I really don't care. We just need to strengthen the defense. <laughs> Is that true? The Eagles needs, oh wow, where do I start? They need a wide receiver, cornerback, and a running back that isn't injury prone and fumbles a ball every time he's touched. 
the Redskins, we need to sign Kirk Cousins. Like, he has potential. He can, he can get it done. We need a strong quarterback. You know, I really wish we had someone like Mike Vick, per se. He's also just retired. But he hey, did announce yeah. that Tom Brady may, like, Tom Brady. Oh, man, I don't know where I'm going now. Uh, I was about to be like, yo, Redskins? <laughs> no. I was to say, what, guys? Like, <laughs> no. So he, said, he said, Michael Vick said Tom Brady inspired him, and now Mike Vick may come out of retirement. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Party first on first and more. What's up? There also have been rumors of the Eagles picking up Bears wide receiver Alshon Jeffrey and the Packers running back Eddie Lacy. I like the Alshon pickup, but Eddie Lacy to Eagles is a no. I really want the Eagles to draft Clemson wide receiver Mike Williams and for them to get a running back so the team can game plan against the run and the pass. Dalvin Cook from Go- oh, I was about to say Golden State. Dalvin Cook from Florida State really could do that. He could help the team. He's young. We could use a young running back. There you have it. All the needs and wants for us Eagles and Redskins fans. Brought to you by Jacob, your boy RJ. Now, to close out the show, the final score. The last final score. Did you vote? Because here are the final results from last week's fan poll. Wow, 117 votes. That's an all-time high. The majority voted for the Falcons. We all know how that ended up. Our last fan poll can be found on our Twitter, so go vote this week. Let us know, should RJ produce a progression slash blooper reel episode? Spread the word and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with us throughout the off season. Use hashtag first and Vaughn to get involved with us. RJ, thank you, homie. We didn't even know each other at all until one day at Firehouse Subs, I came to you with this crazy idea, and look at what we did. Good luck in the future, and thank you to Sam and Jern for making First and Vaughn run smoothly. Fans and supporters, thank you all. So with that being said, one last time, Sam Fleming, close us up. Oh, 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 this is First and Vaughn, this is First and Vaughn, this is First and Vaughn, you know. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in today.